For many colonists, when they came to Tasmania, they were able to climb the social ladder. And so portraits were often a sign that they had reached the kind of loftier heights of society. My name's Jane Stewart and I'm the Principal Curator of Art at the Tasmania Museum and Art Gallery. So we know very little about the subjects of the paintings. So we know that we have four portraits, one of an elderly Mr Gore and probably his wife, Mrs Gore, and then we have their daughter Elizabeth and her husband, Jesse White. They came to TMAG through Sky de Jersey in 2008, following the death of her uncle, Barry de Jersey, who was a well-known potter and a musician who grew up in Hobart, studied in Salzburg, and who was one of the earliest teachers at the Con at the University of Tasmania here. These portraits, they were painted in the 1840s and then handed down by descent through the family until they reached Barry de Jersey and then Sky de Jersey, his niece. Henry Mundy, the artist of at least three of these works and maybe four, was born in London in 1798. We believe that he travelled the continent in Europe studying the old masters, which means that he came from Means. And then he came to Hobart in 1831, possibly because he couldn't quite make it as a portrait artist in London. The stories related to portraits are so important. Portraits, you know, they speak for themselves in that they're often not always remarkable paintings. Um, in this case, they are remarkable paintings. You know, they certainly tell us a lot about the character of the sitters and the aspirations of the sitters. They're well painted. But once we understand who the sitters are, what their place was here in Tasmania, then we can present them to our audiences with, you know, a much more compelling picture surrounding the pictures themselves. When we don't know about the sitter and the artist, then we don't quite know where to place these portraits in the history of Tasmania. Once we know the stories of the artist and the sitters, then we have a much more compelling story to tell our audiences about these pictures and we can start to position them in the history of Tasmanian art. We're really excited about finding out more about this painting. Um, it's going to help us sort of understand Mundy, the way that he worked, and also much more about the Gore family, if it is, of course, a portrait of Mrs Gore.